Hello everybody and welcome. My name's Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. I'm glad that you're here. And just take a moment and think about all the other things you could be doing. And you chose to be here. And I'm very grateful for that. So all you need today is a willingness to be curious, a sturdy chair and some space around you. And come to a comfortable seat, whatever that means for you. We're all put together differently, so it doesn't have to look the same for anybody. Feet at a comfortable distance. Deciding for yourself whether you like the support behind you or at the back of the chair, or you want to sit more forward, supporting your own spine. There's not a right or wrong way. It's just what feels better for you today. So we root down through our feet, and it doesn't matter whether you've got shoes on, slippers on, socks on, or bare feet. Whatever you have. Pick up those toes, or imagine you're picking up the toes, even the balls of the feet. You can give the soles of the feet a little bit of a wiggle if you like, in any which way suits you. And then imagine a big morning stretch through the soles of your feet, all the way to the tips of your toes and then replace those feet back on the earth if they weren't there already. And just for a moment, soften your gaze, lower your gaze or close your eyes, and just for a moment, send your awareness down to the soles of your feet. Notice the textures underneath there. Notice the pressures. The places that you really are connected down to support and the places that you're lifted away from support. You might notice if you're sitting more into one foot than the other or more into the heels or the balls of your feet or if your toes are scrunching. And seeing if you can even that out. The more we pay attention to our feet, the less likely it is that we're going to fall. The more awareness we build up, the more stability we have, the deeper the connection between us and the earth itself. So this is a great exercise to do at any time during the day, just simply noticing your feet. And notice, put a little more pressure on the right foot, and notice how that changes things, not only in the foot, but all the way through the leg up through the core of your body. Maybe you might even feel that ricochet up to the crown of your head. And then release that. And then put gentle pressure on the left foot. And notice if you feel that in the same places. And then release that pressure. And then push down through both feet. Noticing what lights up. What you notice about your posture as that happens and then release the pressure, as if you could dissolve that tension. Bring your awareness up to your seat, where it is sitting on your chair, and you can shift and change and move at any point. Stacking your shoulders as best over your hips as feels comfortable for you. And that might mean that you sit more forward or you lean back just a millimeter. And if you wiggle from side to side, kind of like we did with the pressure on the feet, you might notice that you're kind of sitting more to one side than the other naturally, or more to the front and the back. And once again, even that up. And then we get really solid in our foundation, sitting deeply into the support of the chair. Noticing if you're resisting that support. And just like we did with the feet, Imagine pushing down with both sides of your pelvis, both sit bones root down. You may even feel that pressure building in your feet once again. And then release the pressure. And notice where it is that tension dissolves from your body. Maybe around your belly, your waist, the lower back, and maybe higher up or lower. Do that one more time, pushing down into the seat, maybe a little bit into the feet will help that. And then exhale, release. 
from that rootedness into that foundation that we now have awareness to that's always there we just never pay attention to it we lift up through the vertebrae all the way up as if tick 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 you could get a millimeter space between each vertebrae the, to the base of the skull and the skull lifts too drawing the chin in gently just to lift the back of the neck and notice how that changes things too we've got this lift rooting to rise We'll take a big breath in and then exhale, keep the length, but soften the tension. And do that one more time, big breath in, keep the length, but soften any tightness. Rolling the shoulders back and down, just softly in your own way. And then when they're settled away from the ears, broaden across the collarbones, just gently. So there's not a forcing with any of this. And then once again, take a big breath in. Keep the shape as best as you can, but soften into it. Bring a quality of softness. And do that three times with the breath. And you might notice that you can release tension in places that you hadn't realized it had built up. And then notice how you feel in this moment. Notice your mind, your emotions. Notice your physical body. And if somewhere in the physical body is getting loud and is demanding your attention, is there anything you can offer yourself, any shift, any support, any movement that will ease that tightness, that discomfort. And then start to notice the quieter places too. Our awareness naturally goes to places that are louder. Notice the places that you never take your attention to, maybe the inside of your left elbow, maybe the arch of your right foot. If your attention is always going to your left shoulder, check out your right shoulder. Notice how that feels. So we start to cultivate a practice of wider awareness. Focusing our awareness on everything rather than just on the loud things. And it's a shift in perspective. And that's yoga in general. We bring awareness to a whole lot of things that maybe you hadn't thought about or noticed before. And we get this bigger perspective on the mat and hopefully off the mat too. That even when there are loud things around us, we can pay attention to ourselves, to our breath, and maybe the quieter things that are going on too. So speaking of the breath, starting to notice that inhale and exhale. And for all of this, you can keep your eyes lowered, soft or closed. Breathing in and out through the nose if that's comfortable. Our breath is one of the quickest ways there is to regulate the central nervous system. Inhaling and exhaling, maybe a little deeper, a little longer in your own way. There's no right or wrong way to breathe. And with that slightly deeper, longer breath that suits you, when you come to a pattern that seems good for today, that you can sustain it. And then starting to smooth that breath out all the way to the top of the breath and steady it all the way down to the bottom. be some places that feel less smooth than others that's perfectly normal this is a practice it's a breath practice and practice means that we just do it over and over and over again 
and it doesn't matter that one day it feels great and another day it doesn't feel so great. It's just a practice. We just notice without judgment but with a curiosity. With that longer, smoother breath in and out, starting to bring a quality of softness to the breath, just like the ease in the body. Notice if there's tension in the breath or in the body as you focus on the breath and let that go. Even if that means that the breath becomes a little smaller, a little softer. And then notice the sound of the breath coming in and out. It might sound a little bit like those waves coming in and out on the shore of the ocean, or like a soft breeze in the leaves of a tree overhead. However it sounds to you, smooth the sound as best as you can. And then I'm going to give you a mantra, which is just a sound to go along with that breath, which keeps us focused when we come back to it. So on the inhale, the word so, S-O, so, from the bottom of the inhale all the way to the top, silently in your mind, and on the exhale, hum, H-U-M, all the way from the top of the exhale down to the bottom. Blend that silent so hum in your mind with the sound of your breath coming in and out. Letting go of tension, of tightness, of any kind of forcing. The less we force, the more we can simply allow the breath to unfold in front of us. So hum breath. And if there's another mantra that you would like to take, a number, or simply inhale, exhale, go ahead. The great thing about so hum is it's said to be the sound of the breath itself. So the sound of the so blends literally with the sound of the inhale and the exhale, the same thing as we hum. And all that means is I am that. Or some people translate it as I am. It's from Sanskrit. And if that's not comfortable for you, then simply one, two, or inhale, exhale, or your own mantra. I'm gonna keep coming back to so hum. And if you ever notice tension and tightness building up, take a breath, allow that to soften just like you have as you moved through the body and come back to this breath, this ocean breath, so hum. Rooting down, feet in seat to rise up, so hum. Broadening across the collarbones and softening through the shoulders, so hum. This is the inhale and the exhale, right ear comes towards right shoulder, just softly inhaling up and exhaling to the other side. Allow the movement to be guided by the breath. And if this is one of your first movements of the day, it's probably going to feel very small. Again, no forcing in yoga and allowing the body to get used to the movement, even if the movement feels very restricted. The more we allow, the safer the body feels. The safer the body feels, the naturally more it will open up in its own time. You might even notice how after a couple of breaths, it even feels a little easier. And yet, if you force and push to the top of your range of motion, then what will happen is your muscles and fascia and, and connective tissue will tighten to protect your body. So less is definitely more here. Mm -hmm. And then the next time that right ear comes towards the right shoulder, 
We'll keep it there, sending out the left palm, turning the fingertips up. On the inhale, we'll reach that palm up any height, keeping that right ear towards the right shoulder and exhaling down, lifting up to center. Right ear, right shoulder, and inhaling that hand up any height. And on that exhale, that descent, and bring the crown of the head up. Exhale, ear to shoulder. Inhale, arm comes up. Exhaling down. And inhaling, crown of the head comes up one more time. Exhale, right ear, right shoulder. Inhale, arm comes up. This is flossing the nerves of the neck. Exhaling down and inhaling to center. Left hand back to support. And we'll just go side to side a little more. You might notice there's a little more ease to one side than the other right now. And the next time we come to the left side, option to stay left ear towards the left shoulder. Option to extend the right arm out, fingers flick upwards. And with energy through that heel, on the inhale, we lift up. And exhale, taking the hand down. And inhale, crown of the head up. Left ear, left shoulder on the exhale. Inhale, lifting up through the arm. Exhale, taking it down. And inhale, crown of the head up. And keep going at your own pace. Working with your breath, so hum breath. Notice how this feels in your body. We have two more. Always paying attention to sensations, not only the loud ones, but the quiet ones too. Always adjusting, adapting things for your body. This is the last. Time. We bring that hand down and the crown of the head comes up nicely done. Taking those arms beside you, we're going to add on to that. Using the left palm, taking it forward, rooting to rise, coming back to that Soham breath on the inhale, taking the palm up in front of you and exhaling, palm down. On that inhale, palm comes no more than shoulder height. And exhaling down, keeping the joints easy. Let the breath guide the movement. And this is a great place to stay. Adding on into a little twist. So on the inhale, we lift the left arm, keep it there. Exhale, twisting that out towards the left at any amount. Bringing it back to center and palm down on that exhale. Inhale, palm up, shoulder height, keep that palm up. Follow the gaze with the hand. On the exhale, inhaling back to center, gaze stays center, and the palm comes down. Nicely done, continue. You can take every other one. That twist is as big or as small as you like. Taking that twist all the way through to the base of the skull as you take the gaze with the hand. So hum breath. We've got one more to go. Nicely done. Right palm turns forward, we root to rise, we regulate the breath, so hum. On the inhale, the palm comes up, no more than shoulder height. Exhale, palm down. Movements coming from the shoulder, rippling through to your fingertips. And maybe that is enough right there, and if that's where it feels comfortable for you, you're going to stay there. If you want to explore the twist on the inhale, we lift up, palm stays shoulder height, exhaling, twisting towards the right, any amount, gaze comes with the hand, forward, 
on the inhale and exhaling down. Continue. It's a gentle start to the movement through the shoulder and the spine. And again, if it doesn't feel good for your neck to go along with it, then keep your gaze center. Otherwise, taking the gaze with that palm as far as it feels comfortable for you. And you have two more. Resting if you prefer. So hum. Notice the language of your body. One more to go. Nicely done. Hand comes down. We'll keep those hands dangling and circle through those shoulders. Inhaling, lift the shoulders, exhaling down. So hum in breath. Softening the gaze, closing the eyes is always a great way to tune inwards to your body a little more, noticing how this feels. Often with our eyes open, we're paying attention to our surroundings or other people. And then we'll pause and take it around in the opposite direction when you're ready. Just allow this movement to be as intuitive as possible. So hum. Mm -hmm. Two more, resting. Nicely done. Any intuitive movement to bring you back to what feels comfortable for you. We're going to bend those elbows, keeping the palms open or soft fists. So I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me coming down through the spine. So we're rooting to our shoulders stacked more or less above our hips. And then on the inhale, we're simply going to draw the elbows back. And as we do that, the front ribs pop forward and the heart lifts. Here is the inhale extension through the spine. So we've got a wide front body here. And as we draw the elbows back, we increase the opening over the chest and drawing the shoulder blades back towards each other. Knuckles down here, if you like, as if you're kind of holding shopping bags in your hands. That's the inhale. On the exhale, flipping the palms and taking the knuckles forward as you draw the belly in towards the spine and round. So it's almost like we're um, sitting on a scooter, which um, the handle is way too far in front of us. On the inhale, knuckles turn down as we open up through the heart, shoulder blades come towards each other. And then sending the knuckles forward, shoulder blades slide away from each other, wide back body. Continue. Inhaling, you can of course lift your gaze, opening up through the front of the throat into the cervical spine. And exhale, chin can come down towards the chest. Allow this movement to be your own. The arms are an extension of the spine. So if it feels better to have your hands resting on your legs, simply sliding towards your knees and towards your pelvis, naturally with that opening of the front and the back of the body. Then do that. Inhaling and exhaling, adjust this movement so it feels really good in your body. And that may be making it bigger, smaller, it may be resting, it may be making it slower. Inhaling and exhaling. Paying attention to what you notice here. We have another three of seated cat and cow in your own way, and it'll be different for each of us. Mm -hmm. One more to go. I think I just added one. Staying for that last exhale unless you're resting. And we're coming all the way back up to support. Palms coming in front of you, bent elbows once more. 
And imagine that right in front of you here, you've got an imaginary wall. Rooting to rise, so hum breath. And on the inhale, that's so, we're going to reach up with the left hand as if you're sliding it up a wall. Any height and exhaling it all the way back down. Inhaling, reaching with the left. And it can just come to whichever height feels good to you, exhaling, coming back. You might notice, depending on what's going on in your body, that you have more strength or more reach, flexibility, one side than the other. Try and stay away from judgment and try and just notice with a curiosity. Keep that palm sliding up and down that imaginary wall as best as you can. And if the fingertips come up, root down through that one side of the hip, whichever you are, and reach the fingertips. And we get length through that side of the body, through the waist, through the intercostal muscles, through the ribs. So not only reaching, but it's that rooting to rise. So we really get connected with our feet and with the side of the hip that we're reaching with. So we really get that duality of reaching down and up at the same time, whatever height that is for you. Mm -hmm. You've got one more either side. And then the option is to continue one side and then the other. Or the option is to take both hands up at the same time and notice how that feels. So your choice here, three on either side or six together. Reaching all the way up, lengthening through the waist, rooting down through your feet and seat and exhaling, sliding the hands down. That exhale is just as important as the inhale. Reaching on an inhale, whichever height suits you and exhaling back down. And again, Staying away from stories about what's going on in your body and simply notice how it feels. If you're doing one side, switch to the other. We've got three more. Notice if you can reach all the way through your shoulders, elbows, wrists, and fingers to the tips of the fingers and thumbs. No matter how high or low those hands are, you've got two more. Rooting down to rise up, finding that length through the torso, maybe even through the neck, through the crown of the head, as well as the arms. Nicely done. And we'll take those hands down. Any intuitive movement to release any tension, please go ahead. And then from here, we're going to take the feet a little wider. Maybe coming more forward or back on your chair as you choose to. We're rooting down to rise. Come back to that so hum breath, regulating the nervous system. Check in with yourself if you want to, noticing how you're feeling, what's going on in your mind, how your body is feeling. Remember not only the loud places, but the quieter places too. And then we're going to take those hands in towards each other, palms towards each other, soft fists, or interlace the hands. And from here, with that length through the crown of the head, I'm going to start to circle those fingertips or knuckles. Keep the movement just in the arms to start with. And the option is to stay here. The option is to start to bring a twist with you. So the heart starts coming along with you. As clear with those circles as you possibly can be. And if they're not perfect circles, it is a practice. We're not trying to create perfect. We're just working with what we feel today. Option to stay there, option to make those circles bigger or different. We've got a whole lot going on here. 
And then your option is on the inhale to bring an extension through the spine. So we're lifting up through the heart. And on the exhale, you can draw the belly down towards the spine as you send the knuckles down and around. Doesn't seem like there's a lot going on. What we want is the fluidity here, always working towards functional movement. We want fluidity. You've got two more in this direction, resting if you want or making that smaller. And then at the end of the next exhale, we're going to pause and bring that back to center and start very small in the opposite direction. Start just from the arms, elbows doing most of the work, and then starting to twist. And maybe this is where you stay. Bigger isn't better, so hum breath. The option is to start to allow that movement to get maybe a little bigger, wider, taller, or keeping it nice and small and contained. And then from there, make it more intuitive. Option to add the extension on the inhale as we lift the heart, the rounding in of the belly as we lower. At any point, if you lose the so hum breath, then come back to stillness, find the breath, and continue in your own way. We've got two more in this direction. And then at the end of the exhale, we come back to center. Any intuitive movement to release tension, go ahead. You're going to look down at those hands if they are interlaced. If they are, spread them apart, opposite first finger and thumb on top. It's going to feel a bit weird, but just creating new neural pathways in your brain. Getting used to something that feels different. Rooting down to rise. Soften through the shoulders. Broaden across the collarbones. So hum with the breath. And from here, again, just from the arms, keeping the spine neutral, we're starting to take those circles in towards the heart on the exhale and out on the inhale in front of you. Your arms can extend any amount. They can keep small. You can keep that down towards your belly. You can keep it up towards shoulder height. No more than shoulder height, though. As if you're stirring a big pot of molasses, so there is resistance there, it's steady and smooth, so hum breath. And the option is just like before, is to start to bring a little more movement through the torso. So maybe you lean forward on that inhale, starting to strengthen and create stability through the back and drawing the hands back towards you as you're leaning back, inhaling and exhaling. There's so much going on here. Never forfeiting balance for making bigger movements. So making sure you feel stable and steady. Notice how much you're using your feet. They're part of your foundation here. So notice the weight distribution as you come to one side, come forward, how your body works together. We've got another three in this direction. Rest if you feel comfortable, that's better for you. Last exhale, pause. And with a, with a steady spine, just with the arms, go around in the opposite direction. Maybe you lower your hands here to give yourself a rest. Or you want to keep them up, heart height or higher towards your shoulders. So hum breath. And the option is here to start to move through the upper torso. Keep it small, keep it controlled with the breath. On that inhale, starting to maybe draw the shoulders forward of the hips. 
And on that exhale, as the hands come back towards the heart, leaning back, chin in towards the chest, so you're not straining through the neck and the throat. Only going as far as feels comfortable for you. There's so much going on here through the center line of your body, but also through the rest of your body too. You might even just notice, take your awareness down towards one set of toes and notice what's going on there. Every part of your body is playing a part in this movement. Allow it to be intuitive and as fluid as possible. You have three more breaths, rest if you need to. So hum breath, two more. Last one here. And coming all the way back to center, allowing those hands to come down. Any intuitive movement through your body that feels comfortable for you. And then when you're ready, we'll take those feet in towards each other. And then wash the knees from side to side. You can take the gaze away from your knees if you like. And then coming back to center, spread the toes, root them down softly like feathers. Connect down to your seat and lift from there. Soften across the shoulders and broaden through the collarbones. So hum breath, soften the gaze, close the eyes. Release tension where you may have been holding it. And just check in with yourself. Notice how you're doing. And then when you're ready, if your gaze is lowered, lift the gaze, open the eyes. And from here, we'll come down to the floor and I will meet you there. If you would like to stay in the chair as to um, for the rest of the class, then you can do everything from the chair. We're going to be drawing one knee in. We're going to be circling through that ankle. Stay here if this feels stable. If you would like to and it feels safe for you, can send out that leg when they tell everybody else on the floor to send that leg out. And then the option is to lift up through the heart. That's the inhale. Exhale, draw the knee in towards the nose, nose in towards the knee. And the option is adding on here is to release the leg and stay. So everything that can be done on the floor can also be done in the chair. For those of you who are already probably down on the floor, I will see you there. Hello, hello. Here we are down on the earth and we're going to come all the way down to our backs. Get comfortable, take any softness you need or support, maybe a folded blanket, firm blanket underneath the head. Knees to the sky, feet to the floor. And once you're there, maybe picking up through the hips, lengthening through the lower back. Making any adjustments that feel comfortable to you. And then take the ankles out wide, knees towards each other, just to soften through the back or any other comfortable position you would like as we take a moment to settle in and settle down. Allow your body to rest into the support underneath you. You might even notice that you are holding tension in certain areas that you weren't aware of. And let softness ripple through your body. And then just like we did earlier, root down through the foundation. So notice everywhere from the back of your head all the way down to the tip of your toes, where your body is connected downwards. And just like we did earlier with the pressure of the feet in our seat, root down into the earth. Just press down gently, maybe 5% pressure. Connecting the back body and your feet to the earth. 
draw your belly button in towards your spine and back down into the earth as if it could connect with a cord or a thread right into the center of the earth itself. So we imprint our lower back into the mat. Keeping that posture, release tension. Release that 5% pressure. And come back to the breath, so hum breath. Allow the breath to be soft and expansive. And then when you're ready, if the knees were together, just part them and parallel up and parallel your feet. I'm going to draw that left knee in towards you. Give it a little hug. And then circling through that ankle. Slowly, slower than you think, as if your foot is in molasses, moving around. And then we'll take that round in the opposite direction, paying attention to the loud places, but also for the quiet places, so hum breath. And then coming back to a nice flex in that ankle, stretching through the toes, only as much pressure as feels sustainable. So we're not going to um, a lot of pressure, maybe 5% pressure there. Option to stay here. Option to lengthen that right leg out, depending on how that feels in your groin. You can keep a little bend in that knee if you like, heel to the floor or extending it fully depending on what's comfortable for you. So hum breath. Belly draws back down into the spine, back down into the earth so we really have that deeper connection. Keeping that connection, option to hover the right heel just a couple of centimeters above the earth and exhale, releasing it down. Notice as you do this, everything that's firing up in your body to make that happen. Inhaling and exhaling. If you're on the chair, you're keeping that extended heel on the earth for stability. Option to hover that heel and keep it. Only if the belly can draw in towards the earth in towards the spine and the breath can still be contained here with that so hung breath. Widening through the collarbone, shoulders rooting down to the earth, holding here. Any head and neck issues, you're keeping the back of your skull supported. Otherwise, on an inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head and on the exhale, you're drawing the chin in towards your chest, knee in towards the nose. Inhaling, lengthening, exhaling, curling up. Noticing if that is too much pressure or if you're releasing that connection of the belly down towards the earth. Option to pulse. Next time that knee comes in towards the nose, nose lifts towards the knee, option to stay. Hugging that knee tight. Lots of bus stops you can come back to. And if the breath is still sustainable, release the hands. Send the fingertips wide, either side of your hips, reaching towards that right heel. Maybe the shoulder blades lift off the earth. You're here for three breaths. Soften the gaze, close the eyes, belly towards the spine, spine towards the earth. One more full breath. Hands come back to the shin. Head comes back to the earth. Heel comes back to rest. And then we're drawing the right knee to the sky, foot to the floor. And then curl that right knee in to meet the left. If you want to rock and roll from side to side, go ahead. Keeping that right knee drawn in now. Left foot to the floor, knee to the sky. So that knee is nice and bent. And then circling through that right ankle. Nice and slow. So hum breath. 
Always checking back in with the breath. And then we'll take that ankle around in the opposite direction as if moving through cold molasses. Mm -hmm. And then a nice flex in that ankle. Great place to stay right here. If you want to add on, option to lengthen the left leg long on the mat. Both ankles are flexed here, heel to the earth. Belly drawn back and towards the spine, just as we started, so hum breath. And this is a great place to stay here, drawing the right knee up towards your chest, pushing the left heel away from you, getting that dynamic tension through the groin. Option to stay there, so hum breath. Option on an inhale to lift up through that left heel, hover and exhale, draw it down. Notice as you're doing that, what is firing up in your body? Try and keep the center core of your body, that belly button in towards the spine, connected at all times, even when that left heel comes down to the earth. Option to keep pulsing, option to hover the heel and stay. Heel pulls away from you, knee draws up as if it could reach through that right shoulder. Great place to stay, holding on to that right shin. Any head and neck issues, throat issues, breathing issues, you stay here supported by the earth. If it's there for you, on an inhale, crown of the head reaches away from that left heel, and on the exhale, nose in towards that right knee. Inhaling, lengthening, exhaling, curling, keeping the belly in towards the spine, moving with your breath. Option, when that knee comes next in towards the nose, you stay as long as you have the so hum breath. Be honest with yourself, regulate the breath, and the option is to release the hands from that right leg. Fingertips reach towards the left heel, either side of your hips as wide as feels comfortable. Maybe the belly button draws in a little more to lift through the shoulder blades. You've got three breaths. Soften the gaze, close the eyes, so hum. Staying for one last breath. On the exhale, hands come to reach on that right leg, head reaches down. Left heel back to the earth. And then draw the left knee to the sky, foot to the floor. Stabilize yourself and draw the left knee in too. Rocking and rolling from side to side or rolling up and down your spine. Hand to either knee. And then you're going to be taking the knees in towards your chest. Guide them out towards the side and up towards the ceiling. So circles through those knees, which really is circles through the hips, of course. One direction, as big or as small as feel comfortable for you. And then we'll take that round in the opposite direction. Inhaling and exhaling. And then curling those knees in towards you. Little rock and roll from side to side. And then the feet come down to the earth as the knees towards the sky. Pick up the hips and shift your hips towards the right. Left leg extends right knee in towards the chest and guided towards the left with the left hand. Right shoulder is connected to the earth. And then option to pulse in and out, up and down with that knee, just getting used to what it feels like in your body. 
making any adjustments that you need to, any support underneath that right shin on the left side, go ahead. And the last option here is gazing over that right shoulder. Take some so hum breaths here. Even invite a little deeper breath in, a little longer breath out. See if you can send that breath all the way down to your belly. Maybe even into the lower kidney area, lower back. Feeling those areas fill up with breath on that inhale and soften with the exhale. And when you're ready, the gaze comes up to center and the knee comes up to center. Feet to the floor, knees to the sky. Come back to center and then pick up the pelvis, shift it off towards the left, any amount that's comfy for you. Right leg goes long. And in your own time, drawing that left knee in towards your chest and over to the right, guided by that right arm. Left shoulder rooted to the earth. Play around here with pulsing in and out of the twist or pulsing the knee up and down up towards your chest and away from you and then settle into a place that feels most beneficial. Gaze can come away over to the left as we start to take those fuller breaths in and out. all the way down to your belly, maybe even your lower back, your kidney area, any other place that feels like the breath needs to explore, to soften. And then when you're ready, the gaze comes to center, the knee comes to center too. And then the right knee draws in, rearrange your pelvis so it too is central. Take the feet a little wider towards the outside edges of the mat, arms in a cactus or a T, and just wash the knees side to side, as big or as small as feels comfortable for you. Maybe the knees come so much to one side, the opposite hip lifts, be careful always noticing the loud sensations and the quiet sensations in your body allowing that to guide you you are the expert to what feels good for you and then when you feel like you're ready knees come up to center walking those feet back into a comfortable distance for you Option, constructive rest here for relaxation. Knees drop in towards each other, supporting each other in a kind of tent shape. Heels drifting apart. Hands come to a comfortable place for you, maybe out beside you, palms turned up, drawing the shoulder blades softly towards each other. And if you have any support underneath, like a bolster or a pillow that you would like, or a chair for that matter, underneath your um, legs, then go ahead. A bolster would naturally sit um, underneath your, the back of your thighs or even underneath your knees. A chair, of course, you could take your upper legs, uh, sorry, lower legs onto the chair. If, and often when we keep those knees bent, it assists the lower back if there's any tension in it. Or of course, coming to your relaxation, spreading out wide like a starfish. Maybe you prefer to be on your side or your belly. Take a few moments here to play and choose what feels comfortable for you. There's no right and no wrong. You can of course come up to a seat Unless you are already there, then you can stay exactly as you are. Extra layers, eye pillows, 
anything you wish. Give yourself permission here to be comfortable. So much of the time in life, we kind of settle for it's fine. Instead of really taking the moments it would take to offer our body what it needs to feel supported, what it needs to feel warm and safe so it can relax. So I invite you to do that now. And then if you haven't already, take a full breath in and on an exhale, soften or lower your gaze or close your eyes. And first of all, notice that support underneath your body. All the different places you feel it and the different textures and pressures. Take a full breath in, all the way to the top of your breath. Hold the breath for a beat. Release muscle tension and then sigh and exhale out. Three more like that or big breath in. Take the breath up to the top, hold at the top. Release muscle tension, keeping that held breath. Take another breath in all the way to the top. Hold again, getting full now. Release tension, keep the breath. And then take another sip, fill up where you didn't think you had space. Hold once more and exhale, release everything. Release the breath, release the body down into that support. and feel the relief of letting go. Scan through your body from the crown of your head to the tip of your toes, noticing tension, tightness, discomfort. Take your inhale to any of those places like a laser pointer. And on an exhale, allow that pinpoint laser to disperse and soften into that area. Noticing just how much control you have over the tension in your body, using that breath to take awareness to those locations on the inhale and soften on the exhale. and letting go and noticing if you have resistance to some areas softening with a curiosity not with a judgment not with a story release the tension in your face as if your expression could be entirely neutral Release the tension from your jaw, parting your back teeth, softening your tongue. And allow that ripple to wash through your body like a wave of tranquility you're inviting in. Letting go of thoughts as well. You might notice them arriving, but pay them no heed. 
allow them to drift on by. If you notice any tightness or tension that's built up, use the breath to let it go. And you can stay here in this practice for as long as you have. Let my words drift over you, not disturbing you. And for those of you who would like to finish your practice today, staying exactly as you are, simply come back to the so hum of the breath, just as it is, no need to change it. Noticing your breath in your body, your body, maneuvering in and out. Starting to take a little deeper breath in on that so exhale, hum soft and easy. And when you're ready, Starting to make awakening movements with that awareness to your breath, so hum breath. 50% of your awareness on the so hum, 50% of awareness waking up your body, fingers and toes. Maybe your head glides from side to side. Stretching wide or long. Anything at all that feels good to you. If you're on your back, maybe drawing one knee and then another in. You can windshield wiper those knees slowly from side to side. Or curl them in towards your chest. Give yourself a beautiful hug. Maybe rolling to one side or another and taking a moment. So hum. So hum breath. And then when you're ready, finding your way to a place to finish up your practice. Finding that connection downwards and rising up from there. Broadening the collarbones as you soften the shoulders hands in a gesture, any gesture that suits you today of gratitude or reverence. And take a breath in. Exhale, drawing your chin down towards your chest, offering yourself kindness, compassion. Thank yourself for just being here today, for doing as much as you chose to do. Thank your body for making that possible. I thank each and every one of you so much gratitude for being here and practicing. Wishing you a wonderful day and week ahead.